Please don't just explode. Oh, hey guys, welcome to Ubi's Tips. Now, today it's gonna be a real quick video of one I've already done, but I just wanted to cut this out of the video because this is some really important information. Now, if you're watching this video, you know what a pre-charge resistor is, which for the rest of us, what is a pre-charge resistor? Well, whenever you hook up some big electronics like an inverter, solar charge controller, you know, things like that, they have these big capacitors in them. You don't want to just hook them straight up to uh, the battery because you're going to have a big sudden jolt of energy all, all at once. And that's going to make this big, huge spark, which literally will um, scare the crap out of you because I've had it happen to me. And that's not a fun experience because you're like, holy crap, did I just blow up my inverter I just paid all this money for? So... If you're like me, sometimes you order stuff and you plan on ordering stuff to get it right before you get something that might take you like a week and a half to get. Uh, that's what I did here was I ordered this inverter. It was supposed to be, I was gonna go on vacation and it was supposed to be arriving to me before I went on vacation, but lo and behold, I got it the day before I left. So I wanted to hurry up and just get this thing in so that way when I'm on vacation, it could be do some power for me. And I was gonna order a pre-charge resistor, you know, like, um, you know, I was on vacation, you know, but I didn't have one. So what did I do? I grabbed an old trusty incandescent light bulb. Yep, this ain't a hundred, this is what, it, what is it, this is, a 40 watt so it's a really weak one it's usually one you would have in your vanity you know when you're you know putting on your you know your your makeup and uh, you know or dressing your beard up yeah 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 my beard I, I always have to brush it so this is what you use usually in your vanity while you're brushing your beard um, so yeah i just want to do a quick video about how to use an incandescent light bulb not an LED bulb. Can't use the LED bulb. These are only five watts. I think this will take a long time to pre-charge the resistor. Uh, and don't use an incandescent, not, not incandescent, fluorescent. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, fluorescent light bulb, you have to use the old fashioned incandescent light bulb. Hopefully you can still find these around in certain places. I know everybody's going to LED lights and these are getting obsolete also fill up mercury gas or mercury vapor. I know if they bust, you have to, you know, evacuate the room as soon as possible. But yes, if you have one of these, you don't need a pre-charge resistor. If you have this, you don't need this. So it's almost like a bright, bright idea. Bing! So let's get into it. And let me show you how to use an incandescent light bulb as a pre-charge resistor. Let's make sure this is on. And now I'm gonna to try to pre-charge this thing with a light bulb. Not gonna lie to you, this is what I'm kind of scared about. Shouldn't, Shall be, I? shouldn't be scared. Shall I call someone else out here as well? No. The worst thing can happen is a bulb explode. I just don't want to touch that to that right now because that will charge the capacitors and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna put some gloves on and safety glasses wait can i have some too <laughs> no please sure i like my eyes all right safety glasses you're behind the camera yeah but my eyes aren't protected all right safety glasses for <laughs> you. Thank you safety glasses for me Oh, if I didn't grab two left gloves. Nope, I got a bit of left and a right. These are not electrical protection gloves, but these are going to be a lot darn safer than my bare skin if the light bulb does explode. Or Since it is an incandescent bulb, it's going to get hot. Since there's no load on the inverter, I just don't think it's going to explode. It's, in theory... The light bulb, while it's charging the resistors, the light bulb's gonna light up and it's gonna, it's gonna slow the current 
instead of being just wide open to the inverter, it should slow the current down. So, uh, so slowly, well, slowly, it'll be just like a second or two to charge up the resistors. At least it won't be all like in one millisecond. It'll take a full second before the capacitors gets charged. We love theories in this house. Do you have the light bulb for me? Oh no, here it is. I thought I, you were like going to oh, I thought you me. put it over there. All right. So I'm gonna put that like that. I was gonna touch that wire to Wait. the casing right here. Hold on. Okay. Now you can explode things. This is kind of scary right here. That's fine. Let me back up though. Yeah. All right. You see it? Yes. Oh man. Please don't just explode. Ah, there it goes. And when the light bulb goes off, that worked perfect. When the light bulb goes out, that means the, uh, the charge has fully charged the capacitors now. So now I'm safe to, um, I just want to see if it's going to automatically, some, some inverters will actually discharge. Whenever you take this off, some will automatically discharge. This one I don't think will. So it hasn't, okay, I think we're good. I think it pre-charged the resistors. Thank you, Mr. Lightbulb. You're so welcome. Didn't even get that on camera. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get on camera? No, you moved too fast. Oh, okay.